Hey guys, what is up? Dave here, coming back to you with the first true public video for the Rush Racing 2 race bot provided by Racing Hacks, the Racing Hacks community forum, which I started originally to only support hacking this game, but I realized that's not really going to be sustainable or fair to people who are members of the site. Y'all deserve more. Um, so. I don't know how many people have noticed, but categories have been popping up every so often, and I've consolidated things into like sub forms. Um, so you'll see, like in the VIP section, for example, there's a section for the bot, which will be posted tomorrow. There's tutorials, there's VIP, there's PC game hacks, Android game hacks, VIP, v other VIP tools. Um, there's tutorials and tools. There's you know the public section. There's an a uh, you know public section for PC games and Android. I'll throw I'll put up an iOS section as well, probably even though I don't have an iOS device. Um, I did find out that there's somebody on our forum that is very good with CSR2, so I'm going to probably talk to him on posting CSR2 content because I love CSR2 personally. I think it's a great game, but it's impossible to play. If you aren't a hardcore player but that's not what this video is about let's get to talking about the bot that's what everybody's been waiting for from the forum since like day one is this guy so huge shout out to my friend matt um been a friend of mine for it's got to be over 10 years now from back in the day when we would hack and mod combat arms together um he helped me with the login on this I have since then gone in and done a little bit more security so you guys can't, you know, troll me and steal my source code. It's literally not possible as far as I can tell. Um, I have looked up ways and I have taken the tutorials that explain how to crack said security that I've used and modified it. So you can't, <laughs> you can't do those sort of things. But, um... There are going to be a few updates to this before I release it. Uh, the Remember Me doesn't work. i got to re-add that. My bad. But as of right now, you simply log in. Hit the login button. And the bot comes up. Now, there's one thing that I had a problem with, uh, with the bot, that I'll say straight up up front. As you notice, it's not like a normal Windows program where you have your X, your you know, minimize and your full screen, there's no task thing up here at all. Um, so you can't move the bot. So the first thing I'm going to do is tell you guys how to move the bot around your screen if you want it somewhere else. You simply hold the move bot button and just, you can drag it around. That's how that button works. If you want to close the bot, you want to hit log out of bot and that will actually close you out of it. And then one feature that I added today is use nos so now it actually checks if you want to use nos or not before it was just hey it's going to hit nos um so that's since been fixed and if you t uh, check mark this box it will use it if you uncheck it it will not use it the other thing that i think is going to be a little bit of an issue for some people is um how to run the bot not everybody has access to a number pad key on their keyboard so I'm going to have to figure out a better way to start and stop the bot. Maybe I'll do like control delete, control insert, but I have to make sure that those keys don't do anything else on the keyboard. Maybe I could even do something custom like it. I think everybody pretty much has a function key on their keyboard where it'll be like secondary stuff like um, volume up and down or something like that. Maybe I can do a custom function key thing. Not 100% on that. I will eventually have a way to customize this thing. But as of right now, it's control 1, control numpad 1 to select your start pixel, which I'll explain in a moment, and control numpad 0 for actually running the bot to auto run a race. Within the next 12 to 24 hours, there is supposedly going to be an update to this game where it's no longer spacebar to launch your car. It'll be a dynamic launch key. And I'm a little bit worried about that. Granted, it's very easy to bypass that kind of security, and they're honestly just wasting people's time. 
Actually, I wonder if they've banned me from their page already for literally posting that on their page. I posted it a couple hours ago and told them they're just making it harder for legit players. <laughs> and I can still comment. Very surprised. Um... They just deleted the comment. That's all they did. Very su not well. I'm not surprised. Oh no! So I left a comment, and I'll say I'll read word for word what I said. Dynamic launch. So their update was: if you're playing from PC or Mac, please check the launch key before every race. It will activate custom launch keys within 36 hours, and this will make macro apps useless. False. These guys are way too damn cocky, and that's why I'm doing this to their game. So I responded, dynamic launch keys will not stop bots. Many other games, including Racing Rivals for Facebook, tried this. And even, you know, lesser known bots, let alone the famous ones, had it bypassed within an hour of the update going live on the game. Very easy to bypass and you can just, you're just causing headaches for legit players. If you want to stop being so cocky about your absurd noobish attempts at securing this game, securing being in quotation marks, um, and admit and admit you need help, you know where to find those of us who have reached out and offered to help. Um, but instead they pushed us away, honestly. Your engineering and security team is kind of a joke. If you choose to ignore us, then you'll forever deal with the headache of us constantly making you look like a joke that never ends which is 100% the truth these guys are a joke these guys are absolutely a joke but that's not what this video is about and I'm sorry that I'm going through and ranting about this um, I'll make a separate video for the tutorial of just the bot but for right now I want to show it working um, I'm gonna first explain setting the pixel you use your mouse pointer and you want to go to something like Daily Battle, or, you know, any uh, race for that matter. Um, but Daily Battle seems to be the only one that never kicks you out of a race if you take longer than 20 seconds. Because from their words, Daily Challenge races are done on client side. So actually, if there's anything that's exploitable in this game that we need to dig around, it's the Daily Challenges. So what you want to do is click Race Friends. Oh, and by the way, you'll notice I'm not on my main account because my main Facebook apparently got banned. Now, when you're, once you're on this screen, this is where you can select your start pixel to start the bot. So basically, this pixel is as soon as it shows up in the exact coordinate. So as you can see here, there is begin bot pixel color and location, check coordinate, and then there's X and Y and the RGB, ARGB of the pixel. First, you want to get rid of this screen. You don't want to have that up. And the hotkey is Control Numpad 1. So close that. My favorite spot to use is this plus sign because it's never um, transparent or translucent. So hit Control Numpad 1. You'll see that coordinate changed. And it's now um, X is 1252, Y is 762. And then this is the RGB that is a pure white. One of my other favorites to use is usually the yellow of the one. It's the very tip of the pointer. And as you can see, that is the pure yellow one at 789, 729. There are other things on the screen you can use. I'm sure if uh, you know you followed the animation or something like that and set your mouse previous to starting the race, you would be able to do it from somewhere else as well. But anything that's one has no transparency to it you can use there are other things as well you can use and you can get away with it but it really just depends on how you want to use the bot the other thing to do now is setting your timers so as you can see there's hold gas and drop hold gas is basically when the car just revs up and sits at the top of whatever its rev range is so we're going to do this at like 2666 and then drop is how long after this hold that you let go and then spacebar gets hit and then your first shift is that one then your second shift 
then your third shift, then fourth shift, fifth shift, sixth shift, four up to seven gear cars. If they end up adding an eight or a nine gear car, I'll update the bot for that, but I don't see that happening. Um, and then if you want to use NOS, you simply check this box and it'll attempt to use NOS. Note that this will affect your timers here. So you'll have different setups for use NOS versus not use NOS. Um, keep that in mind, but you do have a save and load. You type your tune name in here. We're going to call this test tune, and then you can save it or you can load it. Um, there is also a status of the bot here. It'll tell you what's going on, but we're going to set up this bot for some kind of racing. So we're going to say it's 2000, um, 1800, <clears throat> 1900, 2000, and then 0, 0. So if you have these set, any of these are set to 0. If it's set to 0, it will actually not even attempt to shift. So you don't have to worry about the bot, you know, sitting there and waiting for the timers to end on gears that don't exist. Um, drop we also have to do so we'll do like 1500 for this uh, and from there we can go next and as you can see we do have our pixel selected and it's going to be control numpad zero and we go next race with friends control zero this is the best time to hit it um Obviously, that was way too soon. The bot is trying to run through the race of these timers. You have to wait for the timers to be complete. I do have to fix that status as well. We're going to make this 2,000. And this, we're going to make 2,750. So we're going to go race with friends. Your best time to start the bot is this loading screen. The loading screen of any race is your best time to start it. So that was only good if this was Nitto Legends, a 501. And that shift right here. There we go. We'll make this like hold gas, we're going to make shorter. But this drop, we're going to make longer. So we're going to go race with friends. I don't know why this popped up first, but it's going to start it anyway. I just got there in time. 6.55 because I'm just terrible. Yeah, this... Third to fourth needs to be like 3,000. Then actually, this shift doesn't even need to exist. That might work. But as you can see, the bot does work. This is just a terrible car to test on. I'm going to make this like 1850. This will be 2,000. But yeah, this is a terrible car to test on. But since this is the only account that I have at the moment. Um, I kind of have to use it. 205, better. And the shift is still going to be too early. So this needs to be like 3,800. So these are milliseconds, by the way. You can go up by one millisecond. Um... go even lower on that. We're going to go a little higher on this one. A little lower on this one. And we'll do... There we go. I'm going to win at least one race. I'm just really bad at setting up timers, but I want to do a video where I show the full creation of a timing. So 0 0.9, 0 0.09, sorry. We got our perfect shift. This is going to shift around right there. That's entirely fine, but we can set this to like 4,300 now. 
And we can even make this one higher as well. We can do like 2,500 there. But that was a really good drop. So we're going to do like, to subtract a little bit more time, I'm going to do like 80 actually. So we're going to go next. And I mean, I think you guys get the point. This will be the public video. And then there's going to be another one that's a strictly a tutorial video. Um, that's going to be an unlisted video for only people who have access to the bot. Um, that's all about setup. But saving, I'm going to save this for that video. You go save setup, create a folder wherever you want it. It's going to automatically open up in your documents. We're going to delete that test. We're going to save it. And now it saved it. And then simply log out of bot. And you're good to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This will be the public video. Um, rrhacks.tk, I believe, does still take you to the site. I'll double check. Yes, it does. Um, and we'll go from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you guys later. The bot will be available for beta testing to certain users tomorrow. There is a post on the forum already about if you are wanting to be a beta, test, beta tester of the bot or not. Um, but just let me know. We'll go from there. So I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace out.